feasting on weakness. As a child, I began learning not to fear in the biblical sense based on the things I went through. I grew up parent dependent. My father and mother were always there to protect me. It was through their love and protection that I began learning not to fear. All believers have been on this journey and are now at various levels in this process. Many of those who have caused hurt to others and appeared to be strong are not at all strong and hurt others because of fear. Those who hurt, injure, even incarcerate others do it because of fear. Fear is embedded in almost every aspect of life. In the Psalms, there are many verses referencing fear. The psalmist often reminded himself not to fear. I recently noticed that a large part of my journey in Christ has been learning not to fear. Many who would quickly say, I'm not fearful, are truly the fearful not fearless. God is fearless. His holy angels are also fearless. Everyone and everything else is fearful, including the man who takes matters into his own hands, the lion in the forest, even demons. James 2.19 tells us, you believe that there is one God, you do well. Even the demons believe and tremble. Also, Satan is fearful. Strong governments are fearful and those who resist and fight against them are fearful. The world's system is fear-based. God has delivered us and is delivering us from fear. Many people who seem to be very strong are not, whether they are the hero in our movies who always rescues people in trouble or the person who straps weaponry all over their bodies and goes out and kills others. This is not strength. This is not God's way. God's way is for when I am weak, then I am strong. When we are weak in ourselves, we are then positioned to see Christ's strength. For example, when one fasts, abstaining from food, his body becomes weak. His spiritual strength comes from the weakness experienced during fasting. The body is weak. Nevertheless, the spirit man has been made strong. Spiritual nourishment is a need just as the physical body needs natural food. To become spiritually strong, our spirit must be fed by hearing and receiving the word of God, worshiping, fellowshipping with the Holy Spirit, and by living out the principles of God's word. We do not prove biblical strength by what we are able to do against others, but by our ability to undergo what others do to us. The things of God are often missed because they are antithetical to this world. When I am weak, then I am strong. We tend to miss God happenings because we often look in the wrong places and in the wrong direction. Explore with me some God happenings recorded by the writer of Hebrews. He says, time would fail me to tell of Gideon and Barak and Samson and Jephthah, also of David and Samuel and the prophets, who through faith subdued kingdoms, worked righteousness, obtained promises, stopped the mouths of lions, quenched the violence of fire, escaped the edge of the sword, out of weakness were made strong, became valiant in battle, turned to flight the armies of the aliens. Women received their dead, raised to life again. We hate human weakness because of how it makes us feel, how it makes us look even to others. We want to be humble. 
We want to be like the brothers and sisters in the story cited before. We want to be like Jesus until we experience what it truly feels like to be despised, rejected, and the off-scouring of men. Humility, Christ's strength, comes at a costly price, one we are willing to pay until it costs us our self-worth, our self-image. We must always remember that Christ's image is the one that we now bear and is of much greater value than the value of our self-image. Paul says, but we all with unveiled face beholding as in a mirror the glory of the Lord are being transformed into the same image from glory to glory just as by the Spirit of the Lord. When one looks into a mirror, he sees an exact image of himself. It is not like looking at a person facing you where your right is their left and their left is facing your right. But Paul says that with unveiled face, we behold as in a mirror the glory of the Lord being transformed into the same image by the Spirit of the Lord. For when I am weak, then I am strong. This phrase is a cornerstone of Christian growth, yet, like our Savior, it is indeed rejected by men, but chosen by God and precious. Growing together, Pastor Don. I'm ready.